Hello everybody, welcome back to a Chartner technical analysis video. Today we will be discussing VELO. The ticker is VELO against the USDT on the four hour time frame right now. So let's get into this. On X, I've been covering this potential symmetrical triangle where we was caught between a level of resistance and an ascending level of support that we created for ourselves here on the 11th of September. So this is where we had the news of BlackRock and after, straight after the news, literally within the next Next few hours we saw this 30 percent decline back down to 0.013 from 0.019 and ever since we've been sort of caught between this triangle support and resistance and getting back above and losing this 20 ema this yellow line here which is a key level of support for us when we are in this sort of uptrend i've mentioned many times uh, as you can see here in this past uptrend when you come back down to the 20 you normally get continuation we had a deviation here but eventually recovered came back to the 20 and continued the breakout so when you're in an uptrend on the four hour time frame you're above this 20 ema and continuously holding it as support until you're not so we had this quite large uptrend and we came up to this 0.019 we ran into a level of resistance and we've pulled back in this triangle now if we zoom in a little bit here what you'll notice is that we actually broke out of this descending uh, level of resistance last night at 2 a.m in the morning and what we did at this point was put in a high come back to the 20 ema retested that high failed to break it and are now pulling back right back to this descending resistance line looking for it as support so to validate the fact that we have broke out and we've just come back for some sort of abc looking for continuation we have to take this high out for one and we have to hold this descending level of resistance as support now because if we don't we could have just had a deviation here where this is a fake out and right now we are just coming back in for a deeper correction looking to retrace back down to these 0.013 ranges of support the velo has uh, seen in the past so this area here at 0.013 isn't an area that velo is shy of retesting and you can see since this high we have been putting in lower highs ever since here so we do need to start picking up the pace and holding this previous descending resistance to support to validate that on the micro this was just some small abc back down to a key level for continuation of the trend on this ascending support line right here so it, it's all about holding support right now at 0 0.0158 um, and just to clear everything off the, where, where we are right now if i get the 20 ema off as well we had some sort of previous really small ascending triangle slash double bottom here uh in the past uh, where we actually started the breakout here because we had this um falling wedge that i was monitoring on x we started breaking out we had this uh, double bottom small ascending triangle as i've said you come down higher low we've broke out and right now we're retesting this previous double bottom as support so to validate that we are continuing here we have to hold this range for continuation we have to hold 0 0.0158 on the previous neckline of this small ascending triangle that we've now broken out of and back tested so we have to hold this to validate continuation up to at least 0 0.017 now i'll tell you why we've run into resistance right here so if we get this off and we get a fib on from the falling wedge low retracing back to the 0 0.017 high what you'll notice is that from this low retracing back to this high we've run into the key areas of the golden ratio at 0618 and for the last 16 hours we failed to break and close above this range so that's why we're seeing rejection because we're running into a key area of resistance where you want to see a pullback for support before continuation of the trend so right now we do have to hold this previous sort of little ascending triangle double bottom breakout as support and tackle above 164 in order to validate any chance of getting back to 0 0.017 that's where we stand at the moment guys okay and this is why we've run into resistance so just to confirm it again we had this falling wedge here that i was monitoring and i was saying hey guys we're looking for a breakout if we can get back above these levels we're looking to go to 0 0.017 and then we have 0 0.019 above before we do break out so it's it's literally all about holding this ascending level of support that we have for ourselves right here we are literally coming down to retest it once more as you can see here on the four hour time frame where we started this on the 11th we've come up into a high we put in this falling wedge okay came back to this support we broke out the falling wedge 
confirmed it as support once more. We've put in another local high now and we'll come back again to retest this uh, ascending support line once more. So we have to hold this ascending level of support guys in order to invalidate any potential further retracements where we could come back to 0.013 and retest this low. Now I have also mentioned before that what this potentially is, is some sort of ABC correction where this was your A, this was a B into a lower high. And right now we are just in this corrective wave looking for a C where we potentially come back down and at a minimum retest this 0 0.013 range the velo has seen uh, a few times before in the past and again this could be some sort of flat correction who knows but at the same time it could also sweep these lows and come back down to a lower level of which we're looking at 0 0.011 um, so on the smaller time frame guys as i've said it's all about holding this level of ascending support the velo's got for itself right now to invalidate any sort of further potential downside and a retest to this 0 0.013 range if we can hold this as support then we do have breakout targets above okay so if we can get back above 0 0.0164 and we see this support hold here and we chop along this line and start taking out this high then me for me the next point is this 0 0.017 and if we can see an impulsive move to take that out i think we start retracing to 0 0.0178 and then back towards the 1618 target which ties up very closely with these previous local high closes over here on the 10th of September. So the bullish scenario is to hold this support line moving forward for continuation. Uh, if we fail to hold support, ascending support on the four hour, then potentially we are in some sort of larger ABC correction, looking to retrace back down to these lows that we've seen and are a key support level on the smaller timeframes for Velo. Now to ignore all the chop and the noise on the lower time frames again, because when you are pretty zoomed in like this, these aren't major drastic price corrections. And I don't think they're anything to worry about on the long term of things. So if we zoom out to the weekly time frame, again, there's one sort of signal that I'm focusing on here, which really keeps me remaining bullish. And it's something I mentioned earlier in my last video on Velo's partner inv and investors. Uh, update and it's this bullish cross this weekly bullish cross we're getting ever so close guys to forming this first bullish cross in history and we're so so tight we're literally compressing here trying to make a decision we need to see these emas held and we need to see a good reaction here for velo in order to create this cross even if we fail to come up and tackle this high but still form this cross i i, I would be happy I really would because we'd form the cross on that pump and then if we can come back for a back test and a higher low than these two previous lows here and come back for a higher level of support I think the rocket ship's gearing up and we're ready to go because uh, once you do break out from and, and form these these sort of uh, bullish indicators and you drag the price up here as they form uh, what you like to see after the breakout and where you get too far away from these emas as they start to, to create the cross you do tend to see some sort of pullback for a correction before exploding out so what we need to see here is even um if if we come down to uh the 0 0.0 one two slash one run range which is this double bottom neckline that hasn't been retested which is a potential this is still a potential so we've got the double bottom neckline okay we've broken out the double bottom right now we could come back and retest it amongst these emas and as long as we hold the neckline i think we're good for continuation guys i i really do so on the macro scale of things if this signal forms just don't look back for a few months just just go away for a while because i think that it could be extremely fruitful just to take away again we've got the all-time low we had a high we've got the higher low we've got a higher high we've got another higher low all we need to do in this move here one two three four five is come up and just try and tackle this high out again even if i said even if we fail it and come back for a correction first before doing so as long as it gets taken out and we don't lose these lows at 0 0.007 we still have bullish structure moving forward and we're just gradually building up the pace here for velo moving into q4 so my overall outlook on the macro guys is we should relax for now as long as we're above 0 0.011 we are safe uh, all the lower time frame noise uh, is is just chop and, and noise uh, keeping an eye on the macro we are relatively health and safe so that's an update from me today guys i hope you enjoyed the content from chartner ta take care peace out